YouTube, I have found the most fun build for season six already. This build is 6'9 and dunks on everybody. And of course I can extend my range and pull up from three. But not only that, we're actually going to be able to dribble. It is a center build. I can ISO too, big fella. And then you're probably thinking they don't have no defense. Wrong, we get snatch box too. And I'm talking about this build is so elite. It's going to have your opponents doing flips on the ground. Now we ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight into it. But before we get into it, y'all know I need that like. If this video gets to only a hundred likes, we're gonna be back with another brand new build tomorrow, y'all. So y'all boys, spam up that like button and let's get straight into the build. Now off rip, the first thing you wanna do is make yourself a center, 6'9 on the height, 233 on the weight, and 7'7 seven, seven on the wingspan. Now every time I make a 6'9 or a 6'8 center, I always get these comments, my 7'3 my 7-2 would dog you. Yeah, that might be true to some extent. If it's a 7-3 post score, the only thing you can do is have another 7-3 post score to be able to stop him. But if they think for one second they're gonna stop you on the perimeter, they have lost their mind. But 95% of the centers that you go up against are gonna be straight even guarding them in the paint. So this is what we're going with right here. Now off roof, we're taking this drive and dunk all the way up until we get to a 94. Now I wanted a 96 bad y'all, but you're gonna see we can't get it at the end. Then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna take this standing dunk up to an 82. Now, this is where I probably could have went a little bit higher on my standing dunk. Now, I don't have any problem getting standing dunks. That's not really it, but fast twitch, and rise up if i could have got them both to gold it would have been even better now this is just another one of those things you can adjust if you would like but i just didn't have room for the other stuff i wanted and to get my standard dunk higher as well and i mean i really ain't even gotta say too much the stats explain it their self you know what this build's gonna do I'm going to be able to dunk. It is simple. The dunk meter is super OP with this build. You can get contacts on pretty much anybody. You can hop step, you can stand and dunk, you can do it all. And I don't know why, but this is the most aggressive dunking build I've had all year. Like I, this build would dunk every time almost. Of course you get a few lays, but y'all see the majority when I go to that rim, I'm dunking that ball, especially if you use the meter. Now getting into the shooting, the only thing that we are worried about on this build is getting a 76-3. Now you're not gonna get the best jump shots in the world, but when you have a 94 driving dunk, you don't need the best jump shots in the world. Plus you're a center. If you're shooting threes, you're gonna be spotting up. You can also do a little hop back into the three and you get JT Thor, which is good enough. Now for your mid-range of three, that's all you're gonna upgrade. Now for my free throw, I took it up just till I got to about an eight because I want to be able to hit the free throws as well. And y'all see, we're not going to get the greatest shooting badges, but once again, 94 job and dunk, we're going to be getting to that rim and we're still going to be able to shoot threes. Even with like bronze agent threes, you can even fade from three, y'all. And mid range just might be the easiest thing to green in the whole game. Even if you got like a 40 mid range, you can green. So if I had this up to a 61, I'm definitely greening almost every mid range I take. Now shooting wise, the build isn't great, but it's going to get the job done. Cause if you're wide open and you shoot, you're going to green, especially off the catch and shoot. Now I have two jumpers. I'm going to put them on the screen right here. You can use JT Thor or you can use Nas Reed. Nas Reed is slower. I low-key like it better because I'm not that big of a fan of JT Thor, but there's not too many jump shot options on the build. Now, one of my favorite parts about this build, 92 pass accuracy. And this is going to allow you to launch that ball up the court so fast. Y'all, I'm telling you, as soon as you grab that board or somebody's out on that break, you can hit them right in the pocket every time. I mean, you're going to be looking like a quarterback out here with that Hall of Fame break starter. You also got dimer needle thrutter relay pass you got all the passing back it's something that is so slept on by everybody is bailout bailout is such a good badge especially when you got a 94 drive and dunk if you get hold and you don't get a contact pass out of it now moving on to the ball handle 80 low key you could go even lower on this and be successful but for me y'all know i like iso and i like to get to that rim i like to also be able to give me a three off when i want to i don't like to sit in corner and even without getting speed booster at all which you could make this build 6-8 if you really wanted to get glitchy but for me i just went 6-9 and went ahead and went without the speed booster because later on we're gonna want this rebounding and all that and i wanted a long wingspan i wanted
wanted to be able to get the boards all that but even without those badges we're going to make this build elite still we're going to go all the way up until we get to a 70 speed with ball now if you're making this any other position besides center i probably would go 6-8 and go ahead and get some of these badges but like i said we're a center we're not going to be ice on every time and i can still work with this now when it comes to passing you couldn't ask for a better build y'all i mean you're going to grab the board and throw it anywhere you want Dimer, break starter, all that. And then of course you can ISO on this build as well. So you need that higher pass accuracy. But y'all literally see I'm grabbing the boards and launching it. You can take off dribbling up the court. Make sure you're getting the right pass first. It does not matter. You can do whatever. You can even just take it up the court yourself and then go ahead and start ISO and go into a contact. Like I'm telling y'all, this is why the build is so fun. You're pretty much a point center that also gets contacts that also can shoot threes like y'all see what i'm doing come here i'm straight back to that rim hey like i don't know why they let us get the hop back and stuff out of all things you get the jimmy butler escape like i don't even know what else to say man the build does what it does it's easy out here bored i can drill up the court easy dots like i'm always throwing it in the right spot with this build you ain't gotta worry about all that fumbling around with the ball every time and the build just helps your teammates so much i'm grabbing offensive rebounds throwing it back out that's gold domery they can't miss now for the defense and i'm about to put y'all on if y'all don't already know the highest you should go unless you are a lock is 61 interior interior is trash this year like every other year but if you go with the 61 and get that bronze anchor that's all you need and with that being said we're only taking our block to a 78 y'all and you only need 77 for anchor but we want that chase down artist as well now if you haven't used this block in interior yet i can understand if you're scared about it but i promise you you're gonna get all the stops unless you're just wanting to swipe every single thing period then you can upgrade this as much as you want but i'm telling you this right here is the money spot and with us doing that it's gonna give us the ability to take our defensive rebound all the way up to a 93 and then we're still gonna get our offensive rebound up to a 79 and then our last thing we'll be upgrading is our perimeter up to a 60 i just wanted enough to be able to contest people and play the perimeter a little bit and these stats on defense don't even really Really show how well you're actually gonna do on defense man let me show y'all real quick now defense i was actually surprised with how good it really is like i knew you only needed like a 78 block and 61 interior but maybe because we have a higher vert he goes and gets the blocks even more and then defense just turns to offense y'all y'all see the bump steals i'm getting i'm on the break easy dunk and that's really why i don't worry about steals on centers that much because the bumps are free y'all like if you want to go bump the guard he's coming off the screen you can do it with a lower steal and y'all I'll see the blocks like i'm blocking everything with a 78 and of course last but not least we're gonna start taking this speed up until we get to a 75 now a sale is not important in this game so we're gonna leave it at a 60 then for our strength we want to go up all the way until we get to a 90 we got to be able to bump with the big dudes you know they're gonna be under that rim and this is why i say this build is just not gonna get dogged by anybody but a 7-3 a 7-3 is gonna bully you if they got 99 strength but of course if a 7-3 has 90 strength and you're going to be able to iso them and get any bucket right back as well but any other build that don't have a 99 strength you're going to be good i've went up against seven two seven ones i've even been up against a seven three and i'll be snagging boards y'all and playing defense but moving on to the vertical we're going to stop this right at an 82 and you're not going to get every contact the only one you're going to miss is the elite contacts off one you'll even get the elite contacts off two but i could not afford the attributes to get the elite contacts off one it's just super hard to do and also get all this other stuff but the last thing we're gonna do is upgrade that stamp to a 99 and there is your complete bill y'all and like i always say if there's anything that you do not like about the build change it if you want a lower pass accuracy but a higher job and dunk go for it if you want a lower job and dunk but a higher three go for it want a lower three but a higher defense go for it man like y'all do whatever y'all want with the build you could even drop the height down to six eight if you wanted to and make it a power forward and then you're gonna be able to dribble even better but y'all see man these are the badges we're rocking with right here when the build is finished every category is pretty decently filled even on defense we're still looking pretty good and then of course that high strength gives you that box out beast it gives you physical handles it also gives you that immovable enforcer even brick wall so like i 
I said, bro, the build's just all around. And the build name is kind of lit too. Dominant interior score. That's kind of rare. I don't see a lot of people with that. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give y'all a fun build for season six. If y'all got VC or something already, you can go ahead and use it on this build. But y'all boys remember 100 likes and we're back again tomorrow with a 99 three-pointer build. Something y'all haven't seen yet. But that's been it for your boy Wavy. I'm going to catch y'all next time and I'm out. Peace.